So, fantastic win. We're going to be doing the player ratings from the start 11, a few subs, and we'll rate Rafa as well. Absolutely fantastic day. Let's begin, I'll let you fire with the Dubravka. Nine. He had a solid game, apart from the goal that he conceded, but there's Don't nothing... Don't remember yeah, making many saves either. Was, yeah, he had nothing to do, and when he did, it was easy saves, apart from that one goal that went in. Nothing he could really do about it. Um, from the cross that coming in, it was just impossible. So I give him a nine. Yedlin, um, he's probably going to be the, what I would imagine be the worst score. Yeah. I'm going to give him a six because I think first half he was shocking. I thought I'd probably give him a four in the first half. But the second half he came out and he learned from it and Arsenal were trying that diagonal ball, trying to get in behind that left flank uh, on, on our right side. And I think he dealt with it much better second half. Didn't see enough um, of Arsenal trying to do that. Now I'm going to give him a six, but if, if that second half continued, I would have kept him down. Last sales. I give him a nine. Solid again done his job obviously looking at the goal it did look like it was yet inside so I give him a nine Lejeune I probably give him a nine I thought he was better than Lascelles I thought he'd done a few interceptions yeah. but nine overall you know that partnership to Bravka, Lascelles and Lejeune it's now becoming yeah. our future um, and then you've got Dummett solid question mark around about the right back perhaps maybe in the future but all in all Lejeune a nine Paul Dummett Nine as well, brilliant again today. They, they, didn't, they didn't come down yeah. that right flank much, did they? Yeah, they he wasn't really it. tested, um, but when he was needed, he was uh, doing his job as he always does. And this season, he hasn't been given enough credit, and today showed that. I switch it, Matt Ritchie, I thought he worked his socks off getting a few blocks in there. I'm going to give him an eight. I thought, you know, he, he contributed towards one of the one of the goals as well. Uh, you know, we always say that he works hard all the time, but the thing I liked about it this game is that he was getting back, flying challenges on the edge of the box, which I like. So I'm going to give uh, Richie an eight. Mo Diomi? It's got about nine, nine and a half. Dave is brilliant. Um, again, I think he's kind of one of those unsung people. People don't pick him out, but he does his job every game. And again, brilliant performance today. Shelby, I'm going to be 10. Fuck it, why not? Um, I think, you know, we'll win when, you know, some people deserve to score high. First half in particular, he was absolutely outstanding. He contributed to that first goal where he switched it to the right and the cross come in, Perez scored. And then, you know, he was dictating the play. You would have, Gareth Southgate would have looked at that and thought, that's pretty decent. The first hour in particular, yeah, you probably see he wasn't influential as much going forward in the last half an hour, but it was all about when we got that second goal, it was all about really trying to see the game out. And he was sitting more and more deeper with more Diame, but I thought he was superb. Kennedy? Nine and a half. Again, brilliant. And, you know, we've got a full 90 minutes out from this time as good. well, which is good. And it gets his match fitness up. Um, but, again, brilliant. Cool. You can see the difference in quality. I was a press listen to this. I'm going to give him a 10. I'm going to just yeah, say it because, you know, we all slag him off. I do. You do. You know, Shorty does. Yeah. Will does. Do. <laughs> um, Rob behind the camera does it. Everybody <laughs> slags. Every, what I'm trying to get at is most Newcastle fans slag him off. Yeah. And I think it's nice that he's scoring the goals. And I think yeah. you just got to say, right, you know what? He's doing the business. He's scoring goals. He seems a lot more confident. He's taking players on. You know, he's tracking back. And I think, you know, we have to sometimes put, where, what's the word I'm looking for? Grievances to one side, yeah. perhaps. Is that the word I'm looking for? And say, boy, that lad's done mm -hmm. really well. And hopefully that continues. Yeah. Ten for me. Brilliant. Dwight Gale? Seven and a half, eight. Didn't really do much. Ran the channels again, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he just does what he normally does and just not that finishing product isn't there. And it's a shame and you can't say it was a service today because, you know, Shelby was doing well, Richie was doing well and I just don't think he was on it today. Okay, still decent scoreline, yeah, don't get me wrong. Decent, score yeah, still Scoreline, scoreline, rating, sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm going to nickname him the Bull. Slimani he was just bullish when he came on. He was like <laughs> running through everybody. Uh, seven. I thought if he stayed on, if he had half, maybe an hour, he probably would have scored higher. But I think he was making things happen. He was. I think what he was doing, he was making Arsenal defence scared. Whereas Gale runs to channels. Yeah. That's. But what Slimani just go through and he'll put. I think he's the type of player that'll give you an elbow in the air if he wanted to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give him a seven. Who was the next one? Murphy. Murphy was it? Hosselu. There we go. Hosselu. Hosselu. That was strange, wasn't it? Because he played, yeah. he come in that number 10 role, uh -huh. like, oh, that's a bit odd. Um, I think he did all right. I'll give him seven and a half, he did all right. That was just going to be seven and seven and a half. And uh, the final one was Jacob Murphy, he uh, didn't have much to do. Yeah, he didn't have. I'm going to give him a six, just because the fact <laughs> he only had five to ten minutes. So um, Let's talk about the main man, Rafa. Ten out of ten, it's his birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Rafa. Happy birthday, Rafa. Um, but he's done a brilliant job. You know, 
I'm coming in games now and I'm enjoying it because I know that was safe. And this we're, is so much more relaxed. Arsenal, like, when was the last time we beat Arsenal at home? Like exactly ten ten yeah. games ago. And all you've got all all their lots. Uh, Arsenal fan TV jumping and shouting on uh-huh. down there. So. Yeah, like it is the Rafa effect. He's had a massive effect on this club, and he's done brilliant. And he got spot on it today again. I would have to agree. Ten out of ten. I think you know we won four from four and we're sitting in the top ten. Let us know what you think. Of course, the player ratings and the manager as well. What a day, Belter. See you later.